Good day everybody and welcome to another YouTube video review. Today we're going to be having a look at some of the Avengers Infinity War pop figures. So none of the Avenger figures actually are here. Uh, this is more pretty much Thanos and the Death Squad or the Black Squad. Um, or actually I think I got that wrong but totally correct me if you feel like it. Um, his figures, so we've got Proxima Midnight and Cull Obsidian. Um, and the name of these two has just escaped me. And hopefully it'll come back to me. We know this guy's Thanos. And we have the Hulkbuster. So I'm just going to work my way down. Uh, as I said, I don't have the boxes anymore. I'm a bit of an out-of-box collector. So I just open them up and throw them away. But as I said, having collected pops from pretty much day one, they just keep improving and impressing me every time they keep pumping out new ones. The molds, the the colouring, the painting, the detail that comes through is uh, is really, really progressed considering when the first ones came out they were just pretty much a simple mold with a, a swivel or a bobble head but this is uh, really pushing it to the next level and they're really keeping pace with the uh, the figures as they appear in the movie so uh, you can see the detail in this guy here the painting through the weaponry into the mask really fantastic I love the red eyes uh, and just the contrast in the eyes as well so it's not just a red but there's the the orange drop in the middle which is really, really good. So looking forward to seeing how these characters all interact and take part in the movie. And then you've got the detail here. I love the way they've also managed to uh, maintain sort of height and size. I love what they've done there with the little ponytail on the back of the head. Just the simple colouring as well and accentuating the eyes. And these guys here, like again, for a three inch figure, like he's obviously around about the four inch size, quite weighty. But it comes out as the stock standard price here in Australia of around $18, uh, which I think is about $10 over in the US. So they're not charging because it's a, a bigger figure. But uh, the detail is superb. I really love the look on that face. Looking forward to seeing who this guy takes on in Infinity War. So it's going to be fantastic in the detailing moving through the back there. Then we go to Proxima Midnight. And again, you can see the... The detail there through the weapon, sort of horns on the headdress, spinning it round to the back there. Simple but really, really effective. Oh, dropped her foot plate. Moving on to Thanos here. So again, um, different to the the six-inch uh, figure that came out. I'm hoping they might release one of those from one of the conventions because it'd be really great to have Thanos in that battle gear, owning the battle glove. Um, but this guy here again stands about four inches and I really love the way that they've um, done the gauntlet you've got great detail there and they're not skimping they really are getting in and putting in the calves and the grooves you've got some of the detailing there through the arm and it's good to see it's consistent throughout so here's another one of the figures this is a Titan series hero and you can see the uh, the detailing in the top of the biceps there and, the, and they've kept that through the figure uh, or across all the figures that we see so everybody's being really really true to the character in the movie which is fantastic and then around to the back and then you've got the big smiley mug on the top so really really nice to see in the little ears and then we have the Hulkbuster so I really like the way they've um, taken this in the direction so just down there on the ground see if our camera can zoom in there's the uh, the original Hulkbuster with Hulk standing in front of him. you can see like a nice large head with uh, bulky forearms and then here we have him more in a dynamic pose so looking down uh, quite solid in the foot he is quite solid figure like it's pretty much a big lump of plastic the uh, the detailing on the back there and there is a very very limited bobble in the head you can get a little bit of a wobble and that's about it but uh, they've really again gone to town taking it to the next level you know the open palm but even going right down into the palm you can see how he's even got his um, blasters and things into the palms of the hand and it's just um, a really really fantastic figure and and again easy to pick up um, for a reasonable price here in Oz and then just a couple of others we've got the Gamerverse I really like Venom Pool so this is the version without him with the phone just the nice big tongue getting ready to battle in the Gamerverse. And then we have the um, special edition or the glow-in-the-dark Captain America or Civil Warrior uh, in his Hydra 
sort of colouring. It's just a shame they couldn't do his Hydra um, shield. That would have been awesome to have that. But uh, really nice little figure. And I really like the glow in the dark feature. It's just the eyes and the star and his shield. So it works really, really nicely when the lights go out and he glows. But anyway, um, just wanted to share those with you. Thanks for watching. Feel free to correct me and tell me what the right names are and, and all that sort of stuff. I uh, always love to get feedback on the videos, try and improve them each time. So anyway, thanks for watching. Keep subscribing. Check out the other videos. So as I said, I've done a Titan Hero series Thanos there. So well and truly worth having a look at. Got a couple little figures here. We've got a Janus Solo and a Wolverine. I've done those as well. Um, as well as pretty much anything else that's sitting here on the shelf, um, hanging around in the room. So feel free to check them out. If you can't find it in the channel, let me know and I'll see if I can do a video. But uh, other words, have a great Easter. Look forward to um, hearing people's thoughts on Infinity War when it releases in about four weeks' time. And keep subscribing. Cheers.